South Africa, the apartheid in South Africa is not the same as in Israel, and etc. Well, first of all, the BDS, or the boycott in general, is not just against apartheid, it's against injustice in general. It is to enforce justice. It can be if it's injustice in terms of occupation, in terms of massacre, in terms of genocide, in terms of apartheid. It doesn't have to be exactly like South Africa to apply the same tactics. Now, about the apartheid in South Africa, it was a tiny minority that wanted the, sort of the slave labor of the majority, and that's why they had apartheid. In Israel, it's a bit different. The reason why there's apartheid in Israel is because it wants to maintain itself as a Jewish-only country. And that by itself makes it an apartheid state because it has power over the West Bank, and yet the West Bank citizens, more than 2.5 million, they're not allowed to vote. So basically, they're saying, oh, like, you, we control you, but you're not allowed to vote. This by itself is a definition of an apartheid. So now, we have to, we, no doubt Israel is guilty of apartheid, of war crimes, and of many disgusting actions. And I, will, I would like just to quote uh, uh, one of the advisors for uh, Ehud Elmert, who was the Prime Minister. His name is Dov Weissglass. Uh, when Hamas took over in Gaza in 2006, uh, he was asked to describe the Israel response to Hamas and to the Gaza Strip and what they would do to them. So what they said is, uh, the idea is to put the Palestinians on a diet, but not to make them die of hunger. So basically, health, Israeli health officials calculated the minimum number of calories needed by the Gaza 1.5 million inhabitants to avoid malnutrition. These were then translated into truck loads, like how, how many trucks you need to enter the Gaza Strip per day. The number was 170 trucks per day, yet they all allowed 67. And that uh, made the International Committee of the Red Cross respond in early 2008 and make a report saying about the Gaza Strip that there is chronic malnutrition on the steadily rise and there's micronutrient deficiencies uh, of great concern in the Gaza population. <coughs> so they're, they're also starving them. So no doubt Israel does, uh, is doing something wrong, so we have to punish it or put pressure on it. Now, of course, number one solution would be diplomacy, but that, of course, doesn't work. Israel has broken more than 65 UN resolution, not one single punishment. Iraq has, Iraq has uh, had the nuclear program and invaded Kuwait, and they had uh, UN resolution 687, which put sanctions on it. Iran refused to cooperate on the nuclear program. They had UN Resolution 696, which also put sanctions. Israel kills, breaks more than 65 UN Resolution, and what do they get? They get aid. They get more military aid, they get more money, they get more weapons to, yeah, go ahead, kill Palestinians. That's perfectly fine. So now about the Israeli public and this sort of leftist that they want to do peace with the Palestinians and all that nice nonsense, really. Uh, it's not true at all. Actually, just on March 17th, about less, less than 10, nine days ago, they had the Israel elections. The Prime Minister then, who got re-elected, has said one day before the election, if I am elected, there will be no Palestinian state. That's what the Prime Minister said, and he got re-elected. So I don't know where is this Israeli who want to make peace. Yes, there are a little bit of them. Uh, actually, the, the leftist party who wants to do a Palestinian state, they got four chairs out of 120 which is the minimum threshold to go in. So they barely got in the parliament. The rest are rightists and ultra-nationalists who do not want a peace solution. And that's why uh, the majority of them spoke against uh, and uh, voted for people who are against Palestinian state. So it's not a matter of they want to support it, they do not want to support it. So it is up for us to take action to put pressure on Israel, since the international community will not do anything, the UN will not do anything, and Israel people are not doing anything. We have to do something. Please vote yes for BDS.